All right, all right. Welcome back to Currency 365 and Eyes Over Media. Somebody's like, why do I see a Bentley on here? Well, the reason why you see a Bentley on here is because several days ago, folks, I asked, I was just at, talking to God, and I was just like, God, I haven't seen a white Bentley. <laughs> you know, and I was just talking to God about some about cars and stuff. And I was like, God, you know, I haven't seen a white Bentley. I've seen, I think I've seen one white Bentley in my entire life. You know, the, most of the Bentleys I've seen are, are either blue uh, or black, gray. You know, I've seen, I've seen those colors and I've seen a, a purple Bentley as well, but I haven't seen, I've only seen one, I'm, one white Bentley in my entire life. And I said, God, can you show me a white Bentley in the next few days? Yeah. He didn't say nothing. He, he just said, oh, I got you, man. <laughs> you know? Um, so I, I didn't even think nothing of it. And so today I was, um, I was driving, right? I was driving and, um, I usually, when I drive, I usually, um, you know, there's like, there's like two different ways to turn into the, uh, shopping center and stuff. And I usually take the first one and I go all the way around, right? To the back. But I had, and I put my turn signal on to make that, to make the right. And I didn't, I couldn't make the right, you know, like the Holy Spirit was like, take the next right. And so I passed the right, I passed my, uh, my turn to go down to the next turn. And I was like, why did I just pass that turn? And, and the Holy Spirit was like, take the next right, <laughs> you know? And so I take the next right, and then I'm going to go straight up, right? And then and then I'm going to make the left and then go to where I need to go. Nope. The Holy Spirit's like, make the left, <laughs> you know? And then, uh, you know, make the left. So I'm making, so I make the, I like, okay, so I make the left instead of taking straight up. Now I got to go all the way around, right? But when I do that, Guess what's sitting right there? A white Bentley. <laughs> I was just like, it's not this one in this picture. I'm just using this picture as random. But um, but a white Bentley was sitting right there. And I like I literally stopped the car. I was like, and I looked to the left, and there it was. And I was like, okay. <laughs> and I was just I was just smiling because I'm like. That's, that's only only God can do something like that because I was supposed to take the first right, right? Like I always do, and for some reason I couldn't. I couldn't take the first right. Something kept telling me no, go to the second right. And so I know that's the Holy Spirit. And then the, and then and then I wanted to go straight up like I'm supposed to, but nope, go to the left, right? And go to the left, and boom the white Bentley sitting right there. I've never seen the white Bentley that close up, number one. But number two, I've only seen one white Bentley in my entire life, I, I believe, right? And maybe I've seen, maybe I saw some more, maybe I saw some in Dubai, but but I can't remember. I can only remember seeing one white Bentley in my entire life. I might have seen some more, but I can't remember, right? And I'm talking about in real life, not talking about in pictures and stuff, right? So, so, you know, I asked, you know, several days ago, like two days ago, it's like two, three days ago, I asked God and said, can you show me a white Bentley? <laughs> you know, and um, it was an older model like this one. Like, this is an older model. This is not the new models. These are the older models. And uh, and they still look beautiful, though, you know, but um, but uh, yeah, he had the older model as well, just like this one. Um, and um, it was just I was just blown away. But it, the, the, the point of this video is that. Folks, God's God hears us because a lot of you guys are praying about the wealth transfer and you're praying about healing and you're praying about you know, your family and your situation. Some of you guys don't even have uh, you, you can't pay your bills. You can't pay your rent. You can't pay your mortgage. You can't pay um, medical debts. You can't pay your school bills. You're you're praying that Biden, you know. Um, reduces the uh, the debt on the uh, on the on the school loans because they're killing you and things like that and and you and you you you're asking God about these things and God's like I I I hear you I'm creating the situation for your favor right you gotta let me do it yeah you know you gotta give me time you got into this mess 
<laughs> not me, right? So, and that's the thing. God's going to be like, yo, you, you, why are you rushing me when you're the one that got into the mess? You know what I mean? You got yourself into that mess. You knew if you signed up for those loans, you have to pay that back, right? <laughs> you know? So you need to let me be able to be, maneuver things for your favor. And that takes time, right? Um, because he has to open people's hearts. He has to maneuver people and open people's hearts to have, uh, to, to have the, to give them, to give you favor. And that takes some time. That takes some people, that takes some time, right? Um, uh, it could take years, you know? Um, and all, all, also people that are dealing with, um, health issues and all the, these things take time, folks. Some of these things happen miraculously. Yes, they do. But a lot of it takes time because it's a battle in the spiritual realm. But God hears you. God is hearing you. The moment you speak it, if you're a child of God, God is already working in your favor to get these things done. So now it's just time to just thank him. And you might thank him for a year. You might thank him for six months. You might thank him for three. It might take three years. Why? Because it, it, the battle is strong. It could be generational, right? And he has to go through your generational bloodline and 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 they have to go to war for your, you know, on your behalf, right? He's got to send the angels to go to war on your behalf and it could be generational. And you also have to break that stuff off. So God's going to show you these things in your dreams and he's going to show you these things, you know, that you need to break these things off of you. And he's going to lead you to people that know how to do that online or in person. And you're gonna be led to those videos. How many, how many people watching my videos or watching other people's videos said, "Bruh, I've been, I, I've been looking for a video like this for years," or "I've been, you know, God led me to this video of yours and to, to, so I can come off of that whatever it was, right?" And so that's how it has to work. Somebody has to create these videos and create the prayers and the right prayers to for you to be set free, right? And so God just can't, you know, God, I mean, God is God, but he has to, but he does follow his orders and he does follow his system as well, right? So God has his own system and his own orders that he follows as well, right? Um... And so he just can't, sometimes he just can't just boom, there you go, like he's not a genie, you know what I mean? I think, I think people just think that God is a genie and he's just doing things that just can appear. Yes, he can do that, but he doesn't want to do that, you know, because we, a lot of us got ourselves into this mess or it could be generational and, and it could, you know, and so we have to understand. He wants us to have the wisdom and understanding that it's almost like giving it's almost like giving a baby everything that they want and then they grow up and then no one likes them because they were give, given everything right and so god doesn't want he doesn't want to do that <laughs> he wants us to be able to think for ourselves understand what's going on have wisdom be able to fight the battles so that the next time it comes up you we know exactly what to do right um this is why pain is important god uses pain to wake people up god uses pain to bring us back to the kingdom of god right god is, this is that's what he does right and so it does, does it hurt him when he sees us in pain of course but he but he yeah he, he saw his son yeshua had to, was in pain right um, so he knew Yeshua was in pain. Uh, he, he turned his, he had to turn his back on Yeshua because he didn't want to watch that, you know what I mean? And, um, you know, so because he didn't want to watch uh, Yeshua uh, get, get, go through what he had to go through, you know, but he knew that Yeshua had to do it and Yeshua knew he had to do it, you know what I mean? For, for the kingdom. Right. And so that's why Yeshua has his own kingdom in heaven, you know? And so yeah, that's why Yeshua reigns in heaven with his own kingdom and God and the Holy Spirit have their kingdom and Yeshua has his kingdom as well. Right. And some of us are going to be in Yeshua's kingdom. And we can we can go to both kingdoms, but they're, you know, but some of us are going to be living in Yeshua's kingdom. And some of us are going to be living in the Holy Spirit and, and our Father's kingdom. And, you know, Abba Elohim, the, our Creator's kingdom, right? So, you know, in heaven. But we can go back and forth to both kingdoms. We can go anywhere we want in heaven, right? We can do whatever we want. <laughs> Not every, we can't do everything we want, but you know what I'm talking about. Because uh, when we do everything we want, we're doing it in a holy sense. Because we, you know, we don't, we don't, we don't have any flesh, and uh, we're, we're not, we're, we're operating in the the spirit of God, right? So, 
you know, so it could be Friday nights, you know, we could be doing, we can be praising God on a Friday night. We don't even know it's Friday. There's, there's no time, right? There's no time in heaven, right? So <laughs> every day is Friday in heaven, right? Um, so anyways, I just wanted to give you guys that encouragement because some people think that, you know, God isn't hearing them. God is, no, God is hearing us, folks. He hears it. The moment we speak, he, he he's he's he, he's on it you know whatever you that's why he says acts and you shall receive so the moment we speak to, to for him to do stuff he's on it but it takes time and the more and, and sin delays a lot of things right our, our sinning delays a lot of things our our evil wickedness delays a lot of things our nasty attitudes delay things right are, are, you know, not having faith delays things as well, you know, because God doesn't move without faith, right? So that's why the moment you ask him to do something for you, then it's time to start praising him and not continue to ax and ax and ax and ax and ax and ax, you know, because then he doesn't move. He's like, okay, you're asking again for the 9,000th time, or you already asked, or you only have to ask once, you know, <laughs> you know, so... You got to realize that when 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 God when you ask God for something or for for show you something, he he already he already knows. He he already we don't have to ask him again. Okay, so I go through the same thing. You know, I, I go through the same thing. I I ask him several times for 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 a dream about something and. And he's he was <laughs> all I could all I could feel was him going like rolling his eyes like if you ask me one more time, <laughs> you know, so. You don't have to act. We don't have to ask God over and over and over again, right? So, but um, but I did. I asked him for um, but I asked him once about this Bentley thing. The it's it's amazing when you ask God one time and you leave it alone, it comes really fast, you know. So, God, can I have a billion? Can I have a billion dollars? I'm not gonna ask again. <laughs> Let's see if it comes really fast. I'm not gonna ask him no more. I just I already asked it. All right, you guys heard me. I asked it. Okay, I asked it. So I ain't gonna ask no more. <laughs> All right, uh, let's let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for allowing us to come together. We thank you that you listen to our prayers and you listen to us and you and we thank you for communication. We thank you for a relationship. We thank you for being real and true. And we just thank you and we honor you and Yeshua's mighty name. And um, we just we just love the relationship that we have with you and the Holy Spirit and Yeshua Hamashiach. We just thank you, thank you, thank you that you are a real, true God and a loving God, and you love us dearly, and we love you back in Yeshua's mighty name. We just thank you, Father. We repent for all of our sins and all of our wicked ways and all the things that we have done that is evil, that have kept us from being healed, kept us from being wealthy, kept us from uh, re achieving our goals, kept the enemies from uh, from uh, to continue to attack us we repent for all of those sins may we may all those sins be washed clean in the blood of Yeshua and the power of the Holy Spirit and may all those doors be closed now and sealed with the blood of Yeshua and may this the attacks end may the healing begin and may the wealth begin and may your love rain down on us may the blessings rain down on us may the favor rain down on us may the fruitfulness rain down on us may the marriages rain down on us may they may ultimate healing of everything in our lives come forth now in Yeshua's mighty name. We cancel all demonic dreams and visions and, and plans of the enemies. We cancel all dreams that other people had of us. We cancel everything that is negative in the spiritual realm, physical realm, digital realm. We send it to the feet of Yeshua for judgment and destruction. And when it's terminated now and forevermore in Yeshua's name. And we we promote good dreams, positive dreams, wealthy dreams, healing dreams, love dreams, of godly love dreams, of marriage and friendships. In Yeshua's mighty name, love of the Holy Spirit, love of Yeshua, love of the Father, and heavenly dreams in Yeshua's mighty name. We pray, shalom, shalom, shalom. We thank you, Father, for a relationship. We thank you for honor. We thank you for glory, for your glory, for your wisdom. We thank you for all the things that you do for us in Yeshua's mighty name. We pray, shalom, shalom, shalom. And you know, some people, you know, I was when I was praying, you know, I heard that um some people are gonna are gonna take this. And, and think that we're we're idolizing a car and, and because they're not going to watch the video they're going to they're gonna see the car and they're not going to watch the video and realize that it, it, that's not what we're doing so i just wanted to make sure that that is that you know we we make sure that we're not idolizing the car the, uh, it's we were you were using it as an example of how god is hearing us He's here for us. He's working on our behalf. He hasn't forgotten us. He loves us dearly. And 
if if I can ask him, hey, show me a Bentley, you know, three two days ago, three days ago, and then three days later, he takes me off my course, my regular course, and he takes me the back way, and I turn to my left and the Bentley's sitting right there, and it's the color that I asked him to show me. What 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 God can't do? God can do anything you want. God can do anything, right? God will move the moon and stars and and the galaxy for His people, for His kingdom, for His daughters and his, and His sons, right? And so, when you realize that, and when you when you when you live with that mentality, knowing that God is, God loves you, and He hears you. And he's going to move things for you in your favor, then man, your mindset changes. Everything changes. Your life changes because you know God's watching. God loves you. God's here for you. He's not going to let anything hurt you. He's going to protect you. Right? He's gonna He's gonna protect you. He's gonna make sure you you you're, you're good. You know. So everybody that's worrying, understand that God sees your situation. And a lot of times we put ourselves in these situations. And we, we, but, um, and so it, it's a lesson learned as well. We have to learn these lessons so we don't do it again. But, um, but God hears us. Okay. God hears us. He's not gonna, he's gonna make sure his people succeed. Okay. And, um, and he's gonna put us in the right places to succeed. All right. Peace out. God bless. I'll see you guys in the next video. Eyes open. Bye.